Hello everyone! Welcome along. A little bit later than anticipated. <laughs> and you may have thought you've got away with it. Thank Christ he's not going to do another live stream on real VR fishing. Well guess what? Yes I am. And maybe this will be my new time for streaming because this seems to be when the, the internet starts to work. Um, so I'm back. We are on to the fourth update out of the five updates that's coming so it's uh, maps s7 and maps s8 which are lewis lake and mirror lake um, but we've also now started a sort of catch together which is the common carp this is the first fish which has started as you can see from the 21st which is today runs for a week to the 28th and the idea is we all fish try and catch a common carp if i go over do not show this again thank you if i go over you can see above the tv now um you can see the common carp and we're working towards 25 percent of the total a hundred percent so I don't know what that equates as in numbers but if we get there we all you know and you've helped then we all get a part of a trophy which is pretty cool I think so happy days but first thing I want to show you is the two new maps so we've got S7 which is Lewis Lake in Wyoming And there is new fish to catch as well. So, beautiful as per normal. I don't know what the animations are in here. I've only popped in very quickly to have a look. I've seen birds flying around. Birds flying high. You know how I feel. And we got one new fish in this area to get. Which looks... I don't know what that is. So on expert level, doesn't tell you what bait to use, um, but it does tell you it's in the bottom part of the. So I'm going to start probably with something. Let's start with a float fishing, and let's start with something that attracts. Ooh. Moderate for various fish, something that will attract them. So epic or rare fish so let's go with that hope everybody's okay nearly the weekend the weather's changing already typical getting colder in the UK so a noticeable drop from 40 degrees to 20 today just gonna check the chat works make sure we're fully Ah, uh, Scottish. I didn't hear you. Wait, hang on. For some reason to chat. Let me catch this fish. And then I'll see why that is. Could be that I've accidentally knocked a mic or something. <laughs> Keep tench. All right, let's have a just have a quick check. See if this is going. I'm not quite sure. Maybe the speech chat's not working now. That'd be typical. Let's have a quick look. Uh, 
it says it's going. No, it's not. Right, let's I'll get the speech chat going again because it's obviously not logged in. Some reason. Shit. It's telling me it's online now. Should be there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hey, it's going, it's working, I can hear you. Sorry everyone, don't know why. <laughs> it's been one of those nights again. Uh, we won't complain about it. So I hope you're all alright. I see you're in there Scottish. Hope you're doing well. I can see the bait, so I've got to reset the settings again. Every time they do an update, it, it sort of forgets your your settings on certain things. Not sure why. Sounds like the sound's gone as well. I don't know if you're getting the sound on yours. Let's go into so, uh, reeling sound, classic. Uh, everything should be <laughs> should be working. Experts, we don't want line, we don't want bait. Single both. The solution. So I can definitely hear. That's very strange. Oh, I can hear the. I can hear the reeling. So that's good. Come on, fishes. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the animations are on this one. Because you have to keep an eye out behind you sometimes as well. So, loads of birds flying around. Or we have a fish. Fish on! Come on. Oh, that's a big one. I bet I'm not going to catch the the epic straight away. No. Looks like a tench or some description that does. Ooh. 
I'm still using my dumbbells, which does make it a little bit harder to to fish with. Cool, he's a jumper. Nearly broke the line. That took a long time to get in. Must be a huge record. Oh, it's pretty big. Grass carp. Not a common carp. I don't think any of the um, any of the American lakes have got common carp on them so I think we have to go back to the the Korean maps to do the uh, do do the challenge maybe this is a way that they're looking to get you to go back into into doing the um, you know the the old maps because everybody I know now fishes the new maps and nobody goes back to the Korean ones. So perhaps they are looking into it. But yeah, pretty cool again. So come on, surprise me with an animation. Like a Nessie's cousin comes out the water or something, pops its head up. Is there a myth in Lewis Lake about a monster? It doesn't seem big enough. It's quite a small lake. I probably still couldn't swim across to the other side of it though. And it's stony. Right. Looks like it was a old quarry or something. Right. So let's have a quick look, see if we spot anything behind us. Like the Yeti creeping up on me or something. Not seeing anything. It does seem a waste to put sort of animations behind you, but I see there's sort of birds flying around the the sun bit over there or there was they're gone now maybe oh there they are but yeah I've not spotted an unusual animation yet we've still got yeah, we still got the crayfish on. Yes, I've probably probably missed it. Not looking in the right place. How did I get in here for a start? Do you reckon he goes through that, that track? So there's not an easy.
place to get to, by the looks of it. We'll just get helicoptered in. Maybe that's be my special th Let's drop it down to the lowest point. See if that attracts the fishies. Maybe that's it. I'll get an air lift out. Not many bites. I don't think there's any fish in here. I've caught the only two. Aquatic life became extinct not long after midlife started fishing there. Well, if we don't get a bite, I think we should go and check out the other spot. Let's go and have a look at what is S8, which is Mirror Lake, oh, and it's the snowy... Oh, uh, no, let's go. <laughs> S8. And it's a snowy, misty lake. We get the snow effects on this one, and it's a little fish, I think, that we've got to catch. So that looks like a sword tail or something. So we need dough ball or the worm. Let's do the maggot. The little maggot. There's one over there, so that's right on the surface. Okay. Oh, well, that fish is gone. Hello, Noop. Hello, Noop. Thank you. It's fantastic, isn't it? Still one of... Well... Super Dexter! How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are checking out the two new maps... And then, if I am, if I do get lucky, get lucky. I can't sing, save my life, but also copyright r reasons. Get a copyright claim. You seem very quiet. These. Uh, these two levels. I think you're so used to all the waves crashing on the beach. Oh, here we go. We got a bite. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't seen me when a shark hits. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, man. I know how that can be. Hopefully had a long life. Oh, we got a mounting whitefish. Personal best. Uh, we're collecting money, so I'm keeping the money. Yeah, really sorry to hear that. They're part of the family. Some people say they're just pets, but they... they no. They're not. Come on, fish. Oh, straight away. Go on. Indeed. Man hugs for you. Oh, oh. What the? Oh, yellow perch. No good to nobody. It, 
it's not your friend it's it's your family becomes one of the family come on fish yeah it does look at this get your snow done I've levitated above my seat a lot I've got a pedalo indeed I like extra kids and in fact they're more mischievous than kids more likely to cause trouble but you you can't do anything but laugh and smile at them that's why so many people post you know video images of them because some of the things they get up to they're certainly characters take on little personas as well Well, <laughs> I should have played this level <laughs> a couple of days ago <laughs> when it was 40 degrees heat. I'm going to go and put a jumper on in a minute. It's making me feel quite cold. <laughs> this is this is maybe the, the way for us to have cooled down in the UK. I'm looking to see if there's any other animations. they're going to include but I think it's just the snow on this one I can't see anything moving around at all behind me or maybe you might get a deer or something or buffalo wildebeest T-Rex. We got all the misty. Coming across the lake. Oh, these fish aren't really biting. And it's changed the bait. I didn't change that. How did that happen? How dare you change the bait without asking there's a fish over there I bet that's probably the one that I wanted to catch they certainly make you smile and they'll be the first to greet you when you get home as well nobody else will care but when you walk in the door you know likely they're at the back of the door yeah maybe because they you get a, they either get a treat or a, you know a bit of love and a bit of fuss or being fed but they're you know the first ones to the door maybe you know out the window <laughs> and they can sense as well when you're coming home I'm sure of it come on fish This is a, the least act fish action I've had for quite a while. Let's try and why is that not <laughs> beginning to wonder? If I I thought it was funny, you know. On the, there we go. Let's try now. Who's going the shortest distance? 
be funny if I catch it straight away now there's me complaining I didn't check my settings yeah have you not got one have you not got one yet you just not not landed it you'll get it though I lost loads to the point where I was getting really frustrated and uh, on a few occasions it was when uh, you know the battery died either on the controller oh I lost a fish I lost the bloody fish it was either when the battery died on the controller or on the headset. <laughs> what level are you, Super Dexter? Are you at the 20s? Because sometimes you see... You do see the sharks quite regular. And other times I can fish for days and not see a shark. I haven't done the attempted to challenge in a little while. Oh, here it goes. Yeah. Well, if you get them nearly. Yeah. If you got the... If you nearly got the shark, you're almost there. So you're not doing much wrong. It's probably, you know, a little bit of a confidence thing as much as anything else. If you get a blase about it as well. <laughs> then you can end up losing them. That's how I lose fish now. It's like, um, you know, I'm not really paying attention to, to what I'm doing a lot of the time. Oh, here we go. Nearly lost it there, you see. Wasn't paying attention. It's more of a challenge using the dumbbells. I'm going to end my left wrist. <laughs> more gold. Gold! There we go. Not what I wanted. It's a bull trout and it's rare. Maybe it was. We're going to keep it. Maybe that was what we wanted. Let's have a look. No, it wasn't. That's what we're after. Looks like a... Does look like a sword tail. You wouldn't think... I thought they were tropical fish. Sword tails. You wouldn't think they'd survive in this water. I'm looking to see if there's anything on the surface swimming around. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, look, there's something over there, I think. Oh, another bite. Straight away. Oh. That's not very big. It's coming in quick. It's not putting up a fight. Could this be it? Could this be? Oh, no. It's a pumpkin bloody seed. I thought well, that could have been it because it wasn't putting up a fight at all. It's changed the bait again. What's going on here? <laughs> Is there a fish over there? No. We're going over this way again. Hmm. 
good eating. Is that a pumpkin? Oh, have we got a bite? Oh, it's another little one. How little? I don't know. Oh, it's no, it's putting up a fight. But it's not that little. <laughs> Skyrim? What, the old... Uh, the old lake and the mountains in the background. Oh, look at that. That's a crappy... we got a crappy fish. It's not... Not the sort of crappy you want to be catching. Oh, there's there's a group of them over here. Now, one of them has got to be a rare fish. People did complain on some of the earlier levels that it was too easy to catch the rare fish. And I must admit, I did on the first two maps, I think I, I got the majority of the rare fish pretty much straight away. So it has got a little bit more tricky to catch the rare ones. Certainly on the last one, there was two that I just couldn't catch. Smallmouth bass. It hasn't got a lot to say for itself. Keep your mouth shut. Come on, give me a rare one. Is the stream frozen? <laughs> I just noticed myself, I just looking, I thought, well, that's a nice screensaver. And I realised, hang on, I'll just catch this fish and I'll, uh, I'll reconnect to it. I'm not quite sure why, that, why that's done that. Well, I probably know why. It's probably the internet playing up again. But we'll try and reconnect in a second. Just catching this large whale that just happens to be in the lake. You're going to miss it. I don't know what a humpback whale's doing swimming around in a in Mirror Lake. It must have been trapped from the Ice Age, defrosted. Oh, it's huge. Oh, right. You have to, um, are you, are you playing on expert? Oh, that's just lost the fish. Yeah. Yeah. The lake frogs. That's it. It's got that cold. It's frozen. Right. Let's, let's try and get it, get it back. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll be back. There you go, should be back again now. Resume. Oh, I'm not quite sure I did that, but we're back. Yeah, are you fishing on um, on Expert, which is with, uh, well, which is pretty much what I'm doing without any of the assists on? Because that that's when you start catching the rare fish if you have a look at a say like expert only on the when you click on the fish and if it's expert only then you you can't well, even if you're fishing online in multiplayer you can't actually catch those fish so you have to basically um, go to the expert <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you should be able to catch all the rare ones then. Yeah. The ice has melted. If, 
It was a short frozen break. I wanted to do it on multiplayer tonight, but just the way the internet was, I didn't want to didn't want to risk it. it. Took me about four attempts to get the stream to go tonight. I suspect it's because it's a bit stormy. Atmospheric conditions. That's the excuse they lose, use. A bit like the railways with the wrong sort of leaves on the tracks. <laughs> oh, this is a not what I want. It's a big fish. It's a grass carp. Is that what they eat? Still the same bait, yes it is. Should we so it's a dough ball, isn't it? Was the other way. So let's have a look. Was it a dough ball? Yeah, it was a dough ball. An epic. Come on, fish. Don't leave me hanging. Maybe they're just shy. I don't want to appear on a live stream. Oh, we got something. And it's smallish. It's coming in really quick. No way! It is, it's a green sword tail. <laughs> How can that survive in here? They're tropical. Why did I have to keep you at 78 degrees when you, you're in a lake with bloody ice? <laughs> Woo! So we, we've now completed this one. We have all the fish again. So green sword tail. We can go back to S7 and see if we can catch the the one there as well. So loved a bit of dough ball. What do we want here? We don't know what this wants. Looks like a piranha, but it can't be a piranha, surely. Uh, what should we go? Doesn't say. Should we try? I've not done any lure fishing. So, oh, hang on. Have you changed the fish? You have, you buggers. You got uh, you've just my fishing rods down to nothing. Right here we go. We got a bite. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, they did though. They, I think it's because they, you know, they've obviously been into bread as captured ones, so that they don't go and clear them from all the lakes. But yeah, they they are tropical ones. You can't keep them in cold water unless it's room temperature. You might, you know, 72 or something like that, but yeah, it's not. You wouldn't wouldn't survive in a frozen lake. If I put them in cold water, they they die within a month or so in the winter. It's a bloody con. That's a that's a biggie. Go from one extreme to the other. Eh? Look at that! Cut for. <laughs> They've got their own body temperature. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Oh, that was quick. Follow me. Oh, that's a biggie. That's putting up a fight. There you go. Here we 
go. It's not the fish I'm after. But it's all money. Same again, please. It's a repeat. There we go. Over this side this time. Now I'm not getting a bite on this one. Should have stuck with the side that was working. That's not where I was aiming, but they never mind. Oh, well, we've got a bite. Another big one. Maybe it's only cutthroats in here. Come on! <laughs> oh no! It's broke me line, I think. Oops. It looks like the fish swam away without giving you a chance. What? If you keep missing it, buy a higher grade reel from the store. And Shut up. I know what I'm doing. This isn't my first rodeo. What happened there? So what should we go for? Should we go for a good for small fish? We don't want small fish. Moderate for various. So we want. Can't believe that. So you can tell they've done an update because that's not the first time I've lost a lost a fish and yet that came up so it shouldn't come up again it resets some of the some of the tips I guess and that, that's anemic mountain white fish Come on. I think I'm going to go and catch some... Oh, look, here he goes. He's chasing after it. Oh, it swam away. So he, he's a quite keen, that one there. Do you see that? He actually came swimming after it. No, he's not interested. Come on. Here he goes. Oh no, he's going for it. Go on. Gotcha. It's quite, it's quite a big one. Yeah, I, I think they've they were on about Asia, North Asia. Oh. Again, because I suspect they've probably had 
some maps when they went to Korea that they didn't use. And I wonder if they're going to think about adding those now and doing the same thing again. So the Korean ones, so that they expand on the Korean one by 10. I wouldn't put it past them. I don't know. They're, they haven't said. Not to me, anyway. What their, you know, their plans are for the, the next locations. But I know they wanted to do the US first. And then I'm quite sure that they were talking about maybe Japan or somewhere like that. I don't know. But yeah, some European ones would be cool, wouldn't they? Especially if they're like on the Thames or something in London. That would be pretty cool. And the River Seven. Why? Oh, here we go. Is this the special? No, it's it bugger. Right, one more go, and then I'm gonna go and see if we can help catch some common carp. Yeah, definitely. I just love the visuals in it. I haven't played in the Korean maps for quite a while now so I, I do need to go back and and see them because you forget just how beautiful they were. You think it was two years ago. Definitely not the fish. I'm. This isn't the fish you're looking for. It's Cop Vader. It's a grass carp. <laughs> we want a common carp. Right, let's go. Let's go back to the lodge. Did you? Yes, I think I did as well. Yes. Oh, I've... Okay. <laughs> I've... Yeah. I, I have to say, because it's as close as we get to a AAA title. Hello. How are you? Um, yeah, so I would say that uh, regarding Moss, it's my favourite VR game that's come out this year. Um, I've played it on the PSVR uh, version about two months ago, I think it came out. And I think, you know, it's the standard that all VR games should be, just for the story, the visuals the controls the, there's I couldn't find fault with it to be honest apart from well <laughs> apart from it you know I could have played it it for even longer really that's a, that's the only thing so I think is it 29.99 in in the UK I think 29.99 so I I am sort I was expecting a 30 because as a top tier I got moaned at for calling it a triple A game because apparently there there are no triple A VR games but in my mind the the stat the bar is like Moss the Walking Dead um I would put VR fishing quite close to it as well um, now because of the content that you get and the way that it's you know it's supported by the devs the visuals I just think the only reason I wouldn't call it 
a triple a title is because again that people still aren't keen on fishing even if it is in vr they a lot of people don't actually get it so it's not necessarily a title that everybody would would want to play whereas i would say that moss and the walking dead probably is a title that everybody would want to play in vr or they should play in vr right so let's go we want to go back to our world map and we're going back over here which is something i've not been to for a <laughs> for a long time and we need to find out now in the korean ones where common where can we find the common common carp that's what we're looking for so maximum length habitat in lakes all depths and it likes live live bait it's a dough ball spinner so so we're going to go and look yeah yeah oh yeah oh uh, i'm not a fisherman that's the thing no interest whatsoever in real real life fishing but put me in vr <laughs> and i i could quite happily spend hours playing this so we're working our way so this is a new we play together and i don't know whether to click on that because uh, i reckon that would just be pushing it with my internet i reckon so I can't, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do the multiplayer i don't think today a struggle I can already see that it's playing up a little bit. It's getting a bit glitchy. For some reason, I'm not sure why. But yeah, so let's go. Go fishing. And let's go and catch some carp. Oh, hello ducks. Right, what do we want? We wanted the dough. So float, float fishing... <laughs> Nobody does. Why would we want to? Eh? Why would you want to fiddle about? Yeah. No. See, I like I like fish. I've always had fish tanks. So I love I love watching them and trying to recreate little habitats for them. So we're now trying to catch the common carp. If I can catch some common carp, then I will help towards that 100% target that we've got seven days to do. This is not good. <laughs> it's not a good start. Well, I'm not caught cool anything yet. Oh, here we go. We got a little nibble. It's taken my bait. Come on. Here we go. Oh, that's a big one. That can't be a common cop. Bloody hell, it's like a shark. Oh, I forgot about the animations. It's beautiful. The old uh, cherry blossom. It amazed me when this first happened to me. Because I wasn't expecting it. Oh, I've, I've sort of acquired the taste of cod now. I don't mind a bit of cod, if it is actually cod that the fish and chip shops serving. Did you never quite know? They, they put cod on their menu, but is it actually cod or is it imitation cod? Because they, they substitute with another fish. Is it hock? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a fish expert. <laughs> Bass, nice to see you, to see you, nice, but that's not what we're wanting. Oh, they look like there was something over there. It's gone now. I'm going to check. Just 
really in a little bit. Well, there is one over there that I was right. There was something swimming about. Is it going to take it? It's taking it. Take it. Take the bait. That's a small fish. That's not a common carp. Unless it's a baby one. Oh, look at that. It's a little catfishy type thing. Hun Samaja. I don't think I've caught one of those before. Have they introduced new fish here then? Hang on. Oh no. I thought for a moment that so long since I fished here, I don't even remember that. Maybe that would be a, interesting if they have added fish on the on the Korean ones and I'd not been checking and I'd been missing out. Might have to have a look. That's not a common carp either. Crucian carp. There's loads of them over that side, so we're going to keep on casting over there. Yeah, but I didn't think they'd added them to the South Korean maps. So I'm going to have to check now. Because I haven't been into this, these maps for God knows how long. But if they are, then I'm going to have to fish them all again. Never carp. We're catching everything but a common carp. getting a lot of bites. That's not one either. That's coming in too quick. It's not putting up a fight at all. <laughs> Got personal best. Castle Groove? N n no. Is that bait? Okay, have you been playing bait? Is that what the one? It's a freebie up until a certain point, I think. And then you can buy some additions to it. But bait's alright as well. For a freebie, That's. I think it's quite a good game. It's one of the first, because I I got the quest and I didn't have many games, it was one of the first ones that I played. Sorry ducks, sorry to disturb you and your little ducklings. God's sake. Yeah, yes, sir, right. It's, yeah, it's very arcadey and cartoony. 
even in its um you know it's playing it's a, a lot more arcadey in the way that you play and catch fish as well come on come on carp you know you want to we might have to go and look at some other levels you know so I'm intrigued to see now whether there are new fish that I've missed I'll be kicking myself oh it's biting we've got a bite Oh, that's a bit bigger. Could this be a common carp? They're as rare as sharks now. Nothing common about them. Oh, it's a big one. Can he bring it in? mouth bass hello serenity hello how are you hope life's treating you well serenity let's go and have a look at another map so we need a lake there's another lake that is a common carp is available there's no fish though um i think it's 19.99 but I'm not 100% sure now. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's 19.99. Um, but you get the Korean ones for that, which is a total of 20 locations. And then the US, I'm sure, was it's either 10.99 or 14.99. And you get, well, it's now working its way up to 30 locations. I think we've got, uh, 28 locations at the moment but in two weeks time we'll be up to uh, we're yeah we'll be up to that's where I want to go we'll be up to 30 there so that so it's huge really it's a huge game so we'll we'll have in a couple of weeks time we'll be up to 50 levels yeah yes i'm very well thank you yeah the problems with the internet <laughs> i did start trying at 8 30 and ended up getting round to about 9 30 but uh hey hey <laughs> it is what it is but i just wanted to show the two new locations and the new fish together we've got which is all about catching carp common carp yeah it is so you're looking at about 29.99 for for everything and they just keep adding to it so the 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 last 10 levels they've added is just all been free in the new fish and you've got your i don't know if you've seen it Common carp! There we go! That's what we've been trying to get. So I'm on the road. I've put my mark. <laughs> put my mark on the leaderboard. That I have helped to get to that 100%. So yes, yeah, so now we've got... Uh, I, I'm guessing it's going to be happening each week. 
is we've got a weekly challenge where they um, announce that there's a certain yeah me too that there's a you know certain species of fish that we're going to be catching each week and you can catch as many as you want as long as we all fish and and try and catch and it's a very clever way to get you to go back to some of the some of the older levels which I used to love this level and I used to catch a lot of the koi here this was one of the levels where you could get the koi which is one of the first um, rare species of fish that I caught here we go we've got a bite again That's a big one. No. Exactly, and that's what I like about games like Walkabout as well. Yeah. If you've not seen the aquariums, I'll, after I've caught this fish, we're going to have a look. And you, plus you can kit out your ground your your basement apartment as well by buying the furniture and then you've got your boats as well so all these boats you can customize the colors so there's nice touches like did you because you can just sit there as well that's the thing about fish tanks, you can just sit and, sit and watch them. The only thing I don't like is the clipping on them and that's just a, there's a largemouth bass. So let's go back and I'll show you the, let's go back to the lodge. So yeah, I've bought absolutely everything. So yeah, so if you go back into the lodge, this is your main lodge. And that's where everything, like all your menus and everything. Um, these are all the trophies that we've got so far. And as you can see, I've put a few hours into it. And it, it so you get challenges to do. So customising items. So like all the clothes you get um, by... By, um, just by playing the game each week you get an item of clothing uh, so each day of the, so each week and it, at the end of the yeah <laughs> well done yeah so you got all these challenges so and it will like open up sea lions and bottlenose dolphins which we'll go and have a look at in a minute uh, you by completing the challenges or by gathering money you can thank you you can actually get all of the you know the scenery so you can purchase the scenery from the store because it's just a basic tank to start with so if you go into your aquarium what on this on this Oh my god, 18 quid, snap your hand off. Do it, Serenity. The only problem is, is having enough time, because you will become addicted. 18.99 for the, for, for, that's for the Korean and the US. That's, that's 50, 50 locations at the moment. Well, nearly 50 locations. I, I would say, yes, Serenity, this is, I hate to think how many hundreds of hours I've put into to get to this stage. And they've, the community's fantastic as well. If you like the social side, I can't show you because the internet isn't good enough for me to show you tonight. But the, the social community side of things is fantastic. You get to do... You get your boats as well. 
so you get as you play you can earn money and you got all your different boats you can get so when you go f fishing on a lake you got all your different boats on the salt water side of it so a little bit of customization even a submarine you can change the colors of them yeah 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 if you got the lighting and you got the filtration right um, then yeah the corals do do all right so and then that is my claim to fame I came second one month when during lockdown in the world of uh, doing the scores uh, then in here this is where all your fishing gear will be so you can see you got uh, I don't know what that's gonna be for so you've got all your fishing rods there that you've done, all your reels over here. And then in here, you've got customization. So if you come in each week, hello, yes, this is me. So if you come in each week, um, you you get an out. <laughs> yeah, honest, no, honestly, honestly, it's so friendly. You'll just turn up, people come in, say hello. If you don't want to talk, they'll just fish beside you and and then go off um if you do want to talk all sorts of subjects make some amazing people in VR, real vr fishing a lot of people are actually fishermen and they fished in the actual location so they absolutely love it um yeah so you can customize your your avatar yeah you can customize your avatar so you've got tons of clothes each week um, you get a different item of clothing so if, even if you just come into the game for an hour you'll get that uh, item yeah yes and if you go away I can guarantee one of the filters backs up because that happened to me I had a six foot one and uh, yeah I went away and this is my saltwater tank <laughs> so with this is my downstairs basement you purchase this is the reason you need to you've got like your experience and you've got your credit so experience moves you up the levels credits allow you to purchase items so all of these the bed and all the furniture is are items you can purchase to fill out your apartment and then same in the tank so this is my little aquarium you got the great white in there got the six gill so these are all the west coast fish that you you can you can catch so there's some amazing fish in there and the locations are stunning yeah I still say on the quest it's the best visuals that you you can get it's a standard that uh, you know sets other games for me you've got trigger fish and all sorts and they're constantly adding as well so you're getting new fish so every time you come in i've got new fish to to go and find there is yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, so where is my turtle actually? Oh, that, that's because it's. So yeah, so uh, you, on the South Korean one, you got dolphins and things like that as part of your challenges to do. There's puffer fish and all sorts of things. So yeah, it's an amazing game that I can't praise enough. Really, it's always in my top three of games, and I, you'll always see me if you look. And I'm playing a game offline. It is, would be very likely that I'm, I'm actually playing this game. So, so yeah. So, all those locations, Serenity. You've got 20 locations in South Korea, which include the saltwater ones. So we can go off and look at those. Yeah, I've seen people do that. <laughs> so 
so what are we going to go for so what shall we there's no additional fish let's go should we do it we've got a tiger and a mako so it's not telling me what I need to do but I know that that could attract them they reckon they've upped the frequency of when the sharks attack so this would be interesting yeah it's brilliant the, the animations of the locations with the lights going the cars in the background got seagulls flying above you it's fantastic You just can't believe that this is on a on a quest headset. How is it possible? <laughs> it's only about three gigs as well. I'm sure of it with all the content. Is that a bite or is it? J yeah, I think it's a bite. Oh, we didn't get the shark. Normally, if a shark bites, it's on the second fight. What have we got there? We've got a little threaded f thread sail file fish. Working my way up to the 300,000 again. There's fishes over there. Look. Let's see if we can attract their attention. Yeah, my dad's uh, got into fishing since he's retired. He does a lot of lake fishing, and I knew he was gonna, he would love this. So uh, when I went to see him uh, over Easter, I took the headset with me and put it on his head. He absolutely loved it. He couldn't believe it. He wasn't any good at it, but he just loved looking at the locations. a biggie. What have we got there? Is that a grouper? No. It's a large scale blackfish. <laughs> okay. There seems to be a little bit of a crossover with some of the fish, because uh, I don't remember the large cell blackfish, whatever it's called, being here previously. So that's the first fight. This would be the second one. So if a shock was going to attack, it would be then. It's always on the second second fight with the fish. So if you you know be wary of oh that's I'm only collecting it because I'm a bit anal about <laughs> always try and keep my money maximum. The only thing I'm spending it on is is buying uh, bait at the moment. I tend to keep my bait topped up. There's one, there's fish swimming around that look. There we go. I think he's just taken it. There 
that's what I like that you can cast no yeah no the only the, the only um, one that I've returned was Tarzan and that was because it was tripe <laughs> I loved the beginning the uh, the cartoon style of the intro I love that that was fantastic and I I didn't mind the base to go around but the the story and the um, and the gameplay was atrocious I was I was so so disappointed and it made me a little bit wary of um, the Twilight Zone as well because it's partly by the same people it seems to have got a sort of okay reception Twilight Zone I don't know if I could play that myself as I get freaked out by a by a block <laughs> playing VR Should we go and have a look at another, another location? People, I forget that people might not have seen all the these locations. So these were the original. When the game originally came out, it only had ten levels. So you had the first ten freshwater levels, and then they added five more freshwater. And then five salt water. So it's expanded a hell of a lot. And then we got the when the salt water came along because we only had the the fresh water tank. Then the you know when the salt water level came along, we got it opened up the salt salt water tank so. it's forever changing and, it's, and that, that's the thing I like about the developers they're, they're not going to stop doing that Stripey he's cute I like putting a shoal of those in the tank yeah and they're, they're just constantly interacting with the community finding out what people like if there's an issue they usually within 24 hours they've sorted it out oh did you didn't like it i quite like that it was tricky though Oh no. Yeah. Well, you can return it though. Yeah, but you could, if you, honestly, Oculus are really good at, um, at doing refunds. If you've got a, you know, an actual real reason why you want to return something, and if it is glitchy and not what you were expecting, then uh, yeah, Oculus will very quickly refund you. I've never heard them ever like refuse to do it. Now I'm not saying what you should do is play a game for 20 minutes and then you know refund it. Yeah, you should do it for genuine reasons. If you buy a game, it's like a product, isn't it? Or an item of clothing. If you buy an item of clothing and you get home and it doesn't fit as you remember it fitted in the shop you've, you've got within your rights to take that back and change it and it's the same with the game really if you try it and don't like it then go back say like i say out of all the games that i've i've bought the there's only one in all the whatever years it is now that we've three years of the quest 
from the quest one to you know the quest two and and or the oculus go before then just one game okay <laughs> nice Thought it was nice to get little surprises like that. I still call it Oculus, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. But the amount that you purchase as well, Serenity, it's not like, you know, you make a habit of it. It's it's within your right. If you buy something because you were sold that, 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 you know, that experience and you really wanted to buy into it and you gave it, because you're allowed two hours, and you gave it an hour and you went, do you know what? I'm not feeling this, then it should be within your right to, to go actually, you know, I, I, I don't want this, and return it. Because you can't sell it on, that's the other thing, because it's, yeah, oh, I think you're the first person that I've heard that they've refused it. Uh, yeah, I think you're the first person that I've heard that hasn't got a refund. I think as well because there's a a good community of content creators. If you if you're unsure about something, all you've got to do is just go onto YouTube and just type the title in. That's a, that's a brilliant animation. Uh, yeah, just type the title in of the game and you'll pretty much find, you know, someone talking about it or showing the gameplay and you'll know then and there or then whether it'll be your type of thing. If somebody's, unless, you know, they're definitely lying about something, if they're really enthusiastic about something, then 99% of the time, you can guarantee that the the experience is pretty amazing. Shall we try another location? Where are we going to go? Should we go? Let's go here. I don't know if they've turned the they muted the sound. Oh, there we go. What I was going to say, I can't actually hear the sound of the waves. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. I think, you know, if you're not, if you're supporting devs and you've done that much, then it's pretty obvious that you're not somebody that's just returning games for the sake of returning games. You know what sort of experience you're going to enjoy. And if it, it looks good to you in the videos and things, and then you find out it's pretty pants. <laughs> hey, got a bite.
<laughs> so have we got to stop buying games is that what it is if you don't buy games you get given coupons to encourage you to buy games cheaper Where are we going? Come on, fish. Oh, Monday. Uh, how much is it? How much is it, Serenity? Is it? Is it on sale? Because I, I think I've played it. And, um, yeah, I found... Because it, it, it put you in situations like cab rides and things like that. And, uh... Speaking a little... Being able to speak a bit of Portuguese. <laughs> no. No. Because they know you're going to buy a game anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but you said you haven't, you know, been on your headset for a while. So they're obviously monitoring you. And just checking that you're not losing interest. £6.33. Um, because it's all the same scenarios... It's a difficult one for me because it it's like you're on a train talking to somebody, you're uh, in a taxi talking to somebody, uh, you're in a restaurant ordering food, I think, or 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 a coffee. Then it's it's very basic. Um, it does work on the the pronunciations yeah it, it works on the pronunciation of words as well so that's a good thing it helps with that did you like it so i would say if you if you're looking to do because it, it, there's not if you want to learn loads of different languages just basic well, I say loads, because I'm not quite sure how many languages it supports now. But if you wanted to learn like six or seven basic scenarios of languages, then it's quite good. But if you wanted to say you want to learn just Portuguese, which is what I wanted, then it, it only works on certain scenarios. And there's a, there's only a few little branches of the story, and once you've done them, it's it's done. I I haven't checked it out in quite a while to see how much <laughs> moonshine. How are you, sir? How's it uh, coming along? The old little development. Progressing nicely. I think I played Monday on the on the Oculus Go originally. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't want to talk you out of it, but if you want to learn a specific language, there's not a, you know, it's a novelty, novelty factor that you'll, you'll learn a few scenarios and then it's it's over unless of course they've done a lot more to expand upon it but i think what they were doing was just adding different languages so if you wanted to learn 20 different ways to order a 
a coffee, then you you know, then it, it it's fine for that to learn that and having your vocabulary. But uh, yeah, as a learning app, it was quite basic. But it did force you to do the pronunciations. I remember getting quite cross with myself. Uh, Brink. Is that Brink or Blink? Uh, again, I've, I haven't been back into... How much is that one now, Serenity? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fish got away. Shh, moonshine, you're giving away your secrets. <laughs> uh, how much is the blink one? Serenity. I mean, that, if you like travel, I mean, the visuals are like, you know, the equivalent of this. But, and I think there was about 15 different locations, but that, I've not heard that they've added, because they were working on adding to it, so I don't know if they've actually added to the locations now. Um, if, I would, yeah, I would say if you want, if you like uh, travel and experience different locations, Serenity, I would say that's not a bad price at all. If they've a added to the 15 that they originally had, because what that, that's what they were going to do. Because you get to stand above the Grand Canyon, and it gives you the true sense of the size and the scale of it. And you've got a little bit of free movement, so you can walk around a certain amount of the space and like interact with stones and things like that but it it, it will also um it's a, like a little education tool so you you've got to search out some areas and it will give you a little bit of f feedback so you'll get your you'll definitely get your you know it took me a good evening to go through all of the locations and see everything and some of the locations yeah and so, some of the locations were, you know, like this, were sort of your jaw dropped on them, it, the reality of them. I think there was only maybe the odd one location that wasn't fantastic. So yeah, o over the Monday, out of the two, I would go for that. <laughs> yeah, I, all the ones that I I looked at. You're welcome. But yeah, all the all the racing games I looked at have gone quiet, because the guy that did V Speedway, he's working on uh, a, a more up to date version of that. I can't remember what he called it. But that was looking pretty cool because <laughs> yeah he's he's going down a different path he's evolved Yeah. Yeah, so the dev that's doing V Speedway, he was working on a like a almost a Gran Turismo version of V Speedway with more realistic um physics and cars. And I think he's still progressing to do that, so that will be a paid release. Whereas V Speedway I don't think you paid for. 
You might have paid for, I think I paid for like um, a part of a DLC, which was uh, the skins of some cars, which was only like two or three pound, which was I wanted to do to support him a little bit because I've I quite enjoyed it. The other one that was around, that was looking quite impressive, was V Motorsport, I think it was called. And that had really good racing physics and speed and control. I really like that, and that's worth looking up. Um, and that's gone quiet as well. I've not heard anything else about that. So I don't know, because it's an independent dev, whether they just had to... Shooter? Which shooter? Oh, oh! Oh, Moonshine! <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> This is a big one. Thank you, Noop. Thank you. Take care. Enjoy your dinner. You make me hungry now because I haven't eaten yet. It must be getting late here. What is it? It's 20 past 11, so I I better go after this as, as well, because uh, I haven't eaten. <laughs> it is, I just realised what the time is. I caught my one common carp, so I've contributed. I better call it a night too. I'm going to go to one more location. So where should we go? Should we go... Go back to... Let's go back to the lodge. And let's do... Oh! Lemon ice cream. So let's go to, we're going to go back to the world map, we go to the US, the United States, so you can see all the locations. Um, sometimes, I think... Um, yeah, you can try. Because I think uh, Scottish managed to uh, to do a link yesterday for the game. So you can, by all means, try. Here we go. I love this. This is stunning. So this was one of the the um, updates we got on the last the the last two weeks. Or the previous two weeks, I should say. So it's a little Hawaii coastal one. Absolutely stunning. It's one of my favourite locations again. You say they upped the uh, frequency of the sharks. I haven't hit one to tonight. How clear the water is, you can actually see the fish when it gets close. You can see the fish from Pacific Herring. Let's do a couple more and then I must call it. I'll keep saying it. I'll, <laughs> I'll do a couple more fish and then I'm going to call it a night.
We've got to buy it again. That's a little one. What's the oh, look. Little Diddy. Little gold ring sturgeon. Surgeon fish. Well, now I'm intrigued to see. Look. I've got them all. Yeah, I thought I had. Yes. So, this will be the last fish. I, I'm assuming I'm going to catch something. I just cast out for tonight. Thank you all for joining me. Good to see you all. <laughs> well, that sounded like a... F That sounded like a fret, <laughs> Super Dexter. <laughs> Here we go. So we didn't catch anything on that cast out. Hopefully on this one. Hey! We have a bite! So, this is going to be the last one. Oh yeah. It's stunning. Go and check it out. I don't mind. Oh, there we go. We got a shark. Perfect. I'm going to finish on the big one. Hopefully. I'm assuming that I'm going to reel it in. Okay. I don't mind Serenity if you want to go and have a look. Because it is a beautiful game. Oh! This is a perfect finish, I think. If I can just land the bloody thing. The old plane flying over, I forgot about that. It's always when you got a bloody great fight on. Come on, fish. I was just saying that I hadn't seen a shark today. I thought they up the frequency and there we go just to prove that they are around even on the newer locations <laughs> it's shown a lot of promise I'm I'm really impressed, Moonshine. I think you've upped your game, my friend. Yeah. It's a different direction. It's a different direction from the norm. The, your normal games. Here we go. It's coming in. Come in. Get your ass in here. Oh, hey! We got a Mako! Woohoo! Although it's not actually out of the water. That's a, that's a little bit... It's levitating on the, on the water there. 
Fantastic. And I've got my money back up to 300,000. So that, I think, is a perfect time for me to say goodnight. So we have two new locations. We have Lewis Lake and Mirror Lake. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's a very important. Uh, yep, yeah, so that is the latest update. So we've got two new locations. We've got Mirror Lake, Lewis Lake, so the fresh water, a couple of new fish as well. Uh, and then we've got the We Play Together, which is seven days of trying to catch as many carp as we possibly can. You can see everybody, when they catch a common carp, is going towards the total. They're working towards 25%. It's only started today, so uh, they're doing really well. And I've only caught one out of, out of that. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Still one of my favourite games in my top three of favourite games on the quest. Take care, stay safe, and go and enjoy Moss 2. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Night, Serenity. Thank you.